EA has released one of the best cards ever in FIFA Mobile or FC Mobile history. They released a brand new 97 rated Root Hullet card. And today, I'm going to rank the Root Hullet card to 1 or 2 OVR. And also, guys, I'm going to be making a team around him. And you know what, guys? All his teammates belong to the Hullet gang. That means they're all quite versatile. But before that, we have some targets to complete. So today, I have to make at least 93 OVR team, guys. If I fail to do so, I have to start the head to head match with one goal down. And if I lose the head to head match, I have to discard one player randomly from my starting 11 so yeah we better not lose it anyways let's begin making the team guys so first let's go and claim road hullet guys so this is the card i was talking about 100 rated road hullet 426 million coins for this one you know what i'm not going to show you the stats first let me just rank him up to the max ranks so let's go do it let's decide guys what position we should play him in so this time i'm going to make it 100 percent probability guys last time when i was trying to rank up pele i ended up losing like 10 mascheranos or something more than that i learned my lesson so i i'm not going to gamble anymore with this Mascheranos. So let's go. Rude Hullet to four ranks. Here we go. He's a one-on-one -on -one OVR player now. It's a success, obviously, 100% probability. Now we have to use 10 Mascherano, guys. I know it's a lot of Mascherano, but you know what? For a card like Rude Hullet, it's absolutely worth it. So let's go get Rude Hullet to one or two OVR. And now he's gonna be the best player in the FC Mobile right now. We've got five skill points to use as well. So let's use those skill points. I'm gonna put it on defending, physical, and I'm gonna make him a ball-winning midfielder. So here we go so he can play as a center back center forward cdm and center mid so lots of potion he's got unlocked this is how the card is looking like without uh, leveling him up first let me just train him up to level 30 and here we go guys road hullet to level 30 let's have a look at his stats 121 pace 114 shooting 130 passing 128 dribbling 120 defense 106 physical oh my god what a card guys he's miles better than any other midfielder right now that's for sure and coming to the attributes five star stamina now five star weak foot and four star skill moves and look at his positions center back cdm center forward so i might probably play him in the center forward position today guys and coming to the traits he's got speed dribbler playmaker power header and solid player traits and high and high attack defense work rates oh my god what a card guys and right now in the market he's going for 1.27 billion coins road hurt is in now we got to decide his teammates so let's start buying his teammates guys so guys i told you earlier that all his teammates are got to be versatile so let's Let's get the players with good overall stats you know first let's have a look at the most versatile goalkeeper let me just sort it by pace i think campos is the one guys he's got 83 pace 73 shooting 64 passing 82 dribbling not the best defense obviously and he's got 62 physical as well so overall i think he's the most versatile goalkeeper we can find there is oliver jiru card as well but he's kind of slow and also is not really that good at defense as well i just want to go with campos card guys so let's go get this campos card in the goalkeeper position i'm gonna try getting this 94 rated campos card Card. so let's go put a bid on him and let's wait for the campus purchase to be successful in the meantime let's get our remaining portion sorted the next portion we've got is the left back portion let's sort it by shooting guys then we're gonna get an idea i think roberto carlos is definitely the best left back in the game look at his stats he's got all 80 plus stats guys i think roberto carlos is a clear choice here and also all the top five cards are roberto carlos so i think we should just get roberto carlos guys but guys there's a problem there is no supply for this roberto carlos card the nine 96 rated team of their icon so instead i'm gonna be going with the next best roberto carlos card he's got a 91 rated card so let's just go with this so 24.8 billion coins for this one so let's go put a bid on so guys let's find out the most versatile right back who's got all 75 plus stats carlos pure he's got great stats but his dribbling passing and shooting i don't think he's gonna fit in a team same goes with dumfries he's got very low shooting so let me just sort it by shooting guys so frimpong has got the best shooting stats but his physical is kind of low let's have a look at other right backs as well all the right Right backs they're actually lacking in shooting guys so i think we can just go with frimpong in the right back position he seems quite versatile so frimpong is going for 66.5 million coins so let's go get him that's our right back and left back and goalkeeper sorted now it's time to check for the best versatile center backs in the game here are all the best center backs but we got to sort by best versatile center backs so let me just sort it by shooting we're going to get a good idea okay never mind we have ronald kuman guys obviously he's the most versatile center back ever i think he's going to go into the team so that's the first center back sorted and the next center back we can probably go with the base right card card but no i think we can do better for sure i think lucio is the right guy to go with guys because look at his stats 82 pace 72 shooting 73 passing 76 dribbling 90 defense and 89 physical i think uh, it's between right card and also it's between lucio so i got to choose one among these two i think i'm gonna go with lucio guys you know let's just go with lucio he's a little bit high rating as well so let's get the max ranked out lucio for 19 million coins and here we go the next card is set also the purchase of campo 
Cos, Roberto Carlos, and Flimpong is successful. And also, I forgot to go purchase Kuman as well. So, he's going to be a center back. Let's get this one 24.5 million coins for him. Now, it's time to move on to the midfield, guys. Let's search for all the midfield portions center mid, CDM, and also cap. Probably these are the most versatile midfielders. Let me just sort it by defense, you know. We got Rodri, guys. I think he definitely has to be in this team. He's got all 80 plus stats. Let's see if there are any other cards. So, there's Casemiro. He's got 78 shooting. So, I think we can do better there. And also, Rykart card is there. Decton Rice also got under 80 shooting. I think Vieira is one among those Rude Hullet gang cards. We can also consider him. And we've got SGN as well. We got Lothar Matthews, who's got all 80 plus stats except dribbling. So, I think for now, I have Rodri on my mind. And also, I think Rude Hullet, Rodri, and Yaya Tore. I think that's going to be a crazy good combination, guys. So, let me just check Yaya Tore's stats as well. I'm sure he's got all 80 plus stats. And Valverde is not a bad card either. He's got all 85 plus stats apart from defense and physical. And of course, there's Jude Bellingham as well, who's got all 85 plus stats apart from physical as well. Oh my god, lots of good midfielders which we can choose from. So it's going to be very hard, guys, that's for sure. I wanted to go with this Patrick Vieira card, but unfortunately, his supply is almost non-existent. Look at this. All the cards, they have lots of demand. So I don't think it's possible to get him. So I think I'm going to go with Jude Bellingham. And also, the next CDM card is going to be probably Rodri, guys. You know, let's just go with those two options. There is one more option which we can consider, which is Bellingham Savage. So even this is a spectacular card, by the way. Look at his stats. All green and all 83 plus at least. But I just want to go with uh, Bellingham and also Rodri in the midfield. So let's go get Rodri, guys. He's going for 87 million coins. So let's go get him for 87 million. And also, let's just claim our players, guys. So all the defenders are here. Let's go place them in the team now. So starting with the right back, Frimpong. Welcome to the team. And then we got the left back. Here, Hernandez is our left back, guys. So let's go place him there. And coming to the center backs, of course, we have Lucio and Ronald Koeman. So two amazing center backs and in the goalkeeper of course we've got Campos 94 rated card also guys I think we got a change of formation I'm gonna go with a left mid and right mid formation because there are quite a few versatile left mid and right mid players so let's go change the formation guys I think 4-1-4-1 is the right formation so we can you know accommodate Rodri in the CDM position Jude Bellingham in the center mid position and in the right mid left mid we can get two versatile right mid and left mid players and also we got a striker so yeah let's go find for good left mid and right mid players guys and also let me just place Jude Bellingham in the center mid position i already got his ranked up card so here we go so far the team is looking great guys here we go this is the list of all the right mid and left mid players so i sorted by uh, defending stats guys Acuna is one of the options which we can consider he's got 78 pace 76 shooting 80 defense so yeah he's got the left mid card i think we got a better one lorente is definitely going to be in the right mid position guys 96 pace 83 shooting 85 passing 85 dribbling 78 defense and 81 physical he's got almost all 80 plus stats so i think lorente is going to be the right mid and coming to the left mid i I think Davis is the one we have to go with guys 97 pace 81 shooting 81 passing 89 dribbling 75 defense I mean not the best defense but still it's not so far away from 80 as well and it's got 79 physical let me just search if there are any other left mid cards yeah I think this is the best choice we can go with Davis and Lorente guys so let's go get them both so Davis is going with 36.9 million coins so let's go get him and the next card is the right mid Lorente so 4.7 million coins for him so let's go get that card as well and also guys we got to reach 93 OVR uh, that's our objective so i think we should reach there and also let's claim all the players and here we go let's just complete our midfield before we go into the striker rodri in the cdm position coming to the right mid of course we're gonna go with lorente in the left mid alfonso davies with that we reached 95 OVR. never mind uh, don't worry about the rating we accumulated a few rating from the rank up so i'm gonna detect that at the end of the video anyways let's just get our striker as well and come with this team all right guys and coming to the striker position so these are the most versatile players there is a silver guy called Zuber, he's got 65 defense, so that's the highest defending stat for a striker in FC Mobile. Or else we can just go with uh, Cahill, guys, because he's got 82 pace, 86 shooting, 76 passing, 84 dribbling, 63 defense, and 90 physical. Not gonna lie, he's quite versatile for a striker. So let's get him. And I thought Rooney is gonna be on this list, to be honest, because Rooney's got great defending stats, but unfortunately, he's not there on this list. Anyways, I'm just gonna get this Tim Cahill card and let's go use him in the striker position. So the final player of the team, a Tim Cahill purchase, has been successful for 6 million. It's time to place him in the striker position guys so let's go with that our team is completed here we go tim cahill welcome to the team and we reached 97 ovr so let me just quickly calculate how much ovr we are getting from the ranks so guys we are getting three rating from the rank up so that means we reached 94 ovr so that's more than the target ovr so i don't have to start the match with one goal down when i was playing the head to head match i realized i put a left back which was hernandez but it's actually roberto carlos so let's go play as roberto carlos guys now we are down to 96 ovr so that means we reached exactly 93 over here guys so that's not at all bad still we
we don't have to start a head to head match with one goal down so let's go play the head to head match now now we are going to be playing the head to head match so i think i want to add a few more objectives guys the first one is win the match second one is maintain a clean sheet and the third one is have at least two goal involvements with root hunnet so let's go guys for every failed objective i got to discard one player and i don't want to do it guys so let's go get the win i want to play root hunnet in the striker position guys let's go play him at the striker let's go root hunnet that's a penalty that's a penalty you can't just push like that no way kuman is going to take it but i think that counts as the assist of road hollet if he scores never mind we didn't score that one no way how did i miss a penalty i just missed a penalty guys i think this is my first time let's go and road hollet nice pass <laughs> look at that goal from road hollet first goal involvement so 30 minutes it took for us look at that he shoots from good a far distance guys not at all bad that was really powerful come on road hollet shoot this one 2-0 <laughs> two goal involvements with road hollet done 45th minute of the match as well so all i got to do now is just hold the lead and also keep the clean sheet and win the match simple that was a wonderful performance from road hollet he passes to bellingham takes the ball back from bellingham and that's a powerful shot this time i didn't really shoot it with power shot but this time it's a normal shot all right road hollet come on oh that was beautiful that was beautiful here we go third goal and it's a perfect hat trick by the way guys i'm playing him in the striker position that's why i'm getting lots of chances to root hollet and come on root hollet he gets the ball yeah he's unstoppable look at that that's a nice pass from jude billingham and that's good control from root hollet and john stones pressure from behind despite that he finishes it off and to make it 4-0 that's four goals in all his debut match guys so let's go that is awesome okay root hollet one last chance no but yeah the ref blows the whistle so yep that's it guys all the objectives done oh i don't have to discard any players so that's it guys i hope you all have enjoyed this video if you did make sure to subscribe to my channel and also go check out my pele video next